Hey, it's Rich, the Louisiana Hobby Guy. And I have just returned from the International Sign Expo in Orlando, Florida. At the Sign Expo, there were probably uh, a dozen or more commercial laser cutter companies. And I have taken the time today uh, to go through all of the literature that I gathered from all of these companies and to go over the specifications of all the different machines hoping for a new commercial quality laser engraver maybe sometime during the summer or by the end of the year and i'm trying to decide which one is going to suit my needs the best here for this shop i do have you know several co2s now uh, none of them that are commercial grade or with the uh, speeds and I guess precision that these lasers have so I've narrowed down my top pick to probably one of the best known commercial laser manufacturers and that is Eon USA now if you know me and my channel I'm mostly a hobby laser enthusiast focusing on the diode laser market this video today is going to be quite different than what you usually find on my channel and that is commercial grade CO2 and RF lasers. Now there are some lasers that are going to fall into the hobby laser market and while these are commercial grade and commercial price <laughs> There are still a few machines that I found that have fallen into the hobby or small business affordability niche. I've chosen to make the Eon Mira 5, Mira 7, and Mira 9 my top picks for the hobbyist or the small business category. Focusing on the Mira 5 for this video, though I will discuss all of the products offered by Eon USA Laser, but in a little less detail and toward the end. But now before I get started in this video, I want to preface it with the fact that I am not affiliated with Eon Laser in any way, shape, or form. I'm not an affiliate, nor am I a partner with them. And while this video may sound like a promotion for Eon Laser, it is not. I am making this video for my subscribers and my viewers to understand who Eon USA is and why I believe, in my opinion, these are probably the highest quality, best priced hobby or commercial lasers on the market. I do not own an Eon laser, but after exhausted, uh, exhaustive research at the ISA Expo, I think I'm convinced to likely buy one of these and hopefully by the end of this summer. Now a lot of you that watch the channel know I was almost convinced to purchase a Thunderbolt which comes in a close second to the Mira 5 but with this new signature series that they unveiled at the Expo I think I'm going to set my sights on one of the Mira signature series lasers that are coming this summer. The expected delivery date um, is winter of 2024. Today I'll be talking about the new Redline Signature Series that Eon Laser demonstrated at the ISA Expo. This new Signature Series is probably the highest quality build of a laser that I have personally ever seen. American made, American parts, and assembled right here in the USA, in Florida. So what is the Redline series? Redline literally means the fastest, the furthest, or highest point of degree considered safe and reliable. Uh, as an example, the Redline on the tachometer on your car. Eon says the Redline signature series is designed to maximize, maximize profits, while focusing on increasing efficiency, versatility, and ease of use, while at the same time reducing downtime and overall maintenance. So uh, what does Signature Series mean? 
Well, the Signature Series is a special build that is all assembled here in the United States using American-made parts. Signature means there will be a special plate on the gantry with the technician's name and signature who actually built the laser for you. So this technician is actually taking responsibility for the quality control and the assembly of your laser by signing his name to it. And as an example, the Redline Signature Series now uses American-made ceramic core tubes, which increases the life of the laser by keeping the CO2 gas from becoming contaminated over time. And there's not a lot of thermal expansion like a standard glass tube, giving you better quality laser beam, which is much more stable and longer lasting. The only exception to this is the Budget Mirror 5, which has a premium CO2 glass tube. This is just one of the many new features that we'll discuss in the new Redline Signature Series today. And to go a step further, all of the Redline Signature Series lasers are built right here in Florida using American-made parts and laser sources. So probably one of the key ingredients to a quality commercial laser is speed and acceleration. On this Redline Series, you've got up to 8 G acceleration, which makes it nearly instantaneous. And with top speeds of 4,200 millimeters per second on all of the RF models, with the exception of the Mira 5, which is 3,500 millimeters per second, but it's still an outstanding speed. The linear rails offer great precision and smooth motion, and the super lightweight laser head contributes to less overall scanning and overall reduction in vibration. The laser head is really tiny on, this, on these machines, folks. These machines are very robust and versatile. You can even remove the side panels on the red line frame for greater accessibility and troubleshooting, with all the components being readily accessible right there at your fingertips. The modular tube docking station is an incredible new feature. This allows you to swap tubes in and out of the laser without having to renegotiate or realign the laser beam or your mirrors. And even better, you can swap from a glass tube to an RF laser with the flip of a switch. Unlock it, pull it out, drop the new one in, lock it back in place. There is a new feature on the Signature Series called the All-in-One Design, and the mirror gets this from the Nova series. They call this a super clean pack design. Not only are the linear rails and bearing blocks enclosed, but there are protective curtains on the left and right side rails now to prevent any unwanted dust or debris from spreading beyond just the work area. Centrifugal fans have been replaced by quieter and easier to clean inline fans and the design team was finally able to include a pass-through on all of the mirror models. And this was a big ask from a lot of their current owners who have been waiting for them to incorporate a pass-through. And a lot of the new features on the Signature Series are owner requested. So the company is paying attention to the feedback of their owners. And I think that is a really important aspect of a company. The all-in-one Nova and Supernova have been redesigned with the control cabinet now in the rear and a dedicated compartment for the optional RF laser tube. The glass laser tube returns to the top position and all models come equipped with a built-in air compressor and a one-gallon air tank beneath the bed. And no, we're not talking about the cheaper lasers that come with the aquarium pump. <laughs> this is an actual air compressor and a one gallon uh, air storage tank. This is a very comprehensive build. They've all come, they all come with a high quality, uh, high resolution camera, integrated autofocus, and a bullseye level engage to make sure that your machine is perfectly level. 
the one thing you can say about all Eon lasers is they have a really brilliant styling. These lasers would look great in any hobby shop or commercial workspace or anywhere at all. They're really nice looking machines. The Eon laser logo doubles as a functional status light, illuminating white when it's in standby mode, red when there's an error, and green while it's in operation, adding both form and functionality to an already stunning design. The most recent revision to the keypad is all of the commonly used features or functions are right there at your fingertips. You can monitor water, temperature, amperage, air pressure, and the temperature of your optics right from the five inch LED screen. All of the things that you wanna know are right there, right in front of you. And probably one of the best new features on the Signature series is that it's toolless. The module, modular laser tube docking station allows for instant tube replacement that is completely free from tools, all while maintaining the beam path. So mirror alignment on these machines is virtually a thing of the past. I know a lot of people are going to like that one. All of the mirrors are now easily accessible modules and can be cleaned or replaced without the use of any tools or ever having to realign them. And the laser lens cartridge on all of the red line models is now magnetic. And the focal lens itself is press fit with a silicone washer for easy access, simple cleaning, or easy replacement if necessary. The LCD screen and the most recent revision to the Nova keypad now makes its way to the Mira Red Line series, which brings all of the commonly used functions right to the top of the screen for reduced setup times and overall ease of, ease of use. No, no more fumbling through 22 different men menus just to autofocus your laser. The smart monitoring is another great feature and all of the optics are now fitted with thermal sensors. They record and they report the temperature readings to the keypad, eliminating the likelihood of unexpected failures. So when the temperatures change, it might be time to clean your mirrors or your lens. This is a proactive approach that not only saves you from costly mistakes, like your mirrors developing a halo or cracking your lens, but it also reduces the need for frequent and maybe unwarranted cleaning. And to top it all off, <laughs> the controller now records these readings along with the ambient temperature, laser tube runtime, and machine parameters to serve as a diagnostic log in, a, in the event that troubleshooting is needed. To further reduce the, the need for maintenance, all optics are now removed from the work area. Taking the clean pack design to, I guess, its highest potential. With the laser head sealed where no dust or debris can enter, all that remains is a series of cost-effective windows and modules which are far easier to maintain and replace if needed. You just pop them out, clean them, pop them right back in. So let's talk about the models and pricing, and then after that, we'll cover the features. I am going to say that the majority of my audience, the people that watch my channel, are going to likely be interested in the Mira 5S, the Mira 7S, or maybe even the Mira 9S. Of course, there will be some interested in the Nova and the Supernova series, but I'm not going to spend much time on those today because of the price point. So let's start with the prices on the ones I think you might be interested in the most. In the Signature series, the Mira 5S starts at $69.95. The Mira 7S starts at $89.95, and the Mira 9 starts at uh, 11995 
Now I know that $69.95 sounds like a lot of money, but when you compare the features, the value, the build quality, and the parts that they use to something like a Glowforge, for example, which would be in the same price range, the Mirror 5 just blows it away. There's no comparison of the two machines, even though they're in a same or similar price range. And basically, with the Mirror series, you're looking at hobbyists, um, crafters, beginners, and some people looking to launch a side hustle or maybe a small business. Most of these are going to be home use or used in small spaces, and all of these will fit through a standard door with a little bit of disassembly. So let's start with the Mira 5S. This machine has a workspace area of 11 and 3 quarter inches by 19 and 3 quarter inches. The machine overall size is 36 and 3 eighths by 27 and a half by 16 and 3 eighths. It weighs in at 220 pounds. The CO2 glass tube is a 45 watt premium glass tube. The RF metal tube comes in either 30 watts or 60 watts. But this particular machine does not have the ability to use the RF ceramic tool. However, all of the machines do. It has a Z-axis travel of five and a half inches or 140 millimeters and the motors used are high-speed DC steppers and AC servos on the RF. The guide rails are high wind linear rails and the maximum uh, acceleration is 5G with the standard laser and 8G with the RF. The maximum speeds are 1200 millimeters per second with the standard laser and 3500 millimeters per second with the RF. Incredible speeds. The minimum engraving size is a typical one by one millimeter on all of these signature lasers and so is the maximum scanning precision at 1000 dpi. This has a built-in SNA 3000 fan cool chiller and as you get above the mirror se uh, series they use vapor compression chillers. The exhaust fan is built in, 75 watts. It's a standard 4-inch diameter axial inline fan. The air assist is a built-in 85-watt air pump. On the larger models, they come with an actual air compressor and a 1-gallon storage tank. The clean pack design, as they call it, is on both the X and the Y axis, keeping the machine dust and debris free on the larger models, it's also on the X, Y, and Z axes. It has integrated autofocus, Wi-Fi data transfer, a red dot pointer, a material pass-through door, and a bullseye leveling gauge built into the laser. The lid material is class one rated polycarbonate. It includes a honeycomb table and a blade table. And it has a five inch LCD touchpad display. All of the Eon lasers are light burn compatible, which is important to me, as well as Windows and Mac OS X. So if you don't use light burn, you can use any of the standard programs such as uh, Corel Draw, Photoshop, AutoCAD, Inkscape, or any of the other software that can export into the supported file formats. And some of those file formats are AI, PDF, SC, DXF, uh, HPGL, PLT, uh, RD, uh, SCPRO2, SVG, LBRN, BMP, JPG, PNG, GIF, TIF, TIFF, <laughs> and TGA. So there's not going to be any question that, uh, you know, you can use this with any Windows-based software or Lightburn or and the software of your choice. These lasers are compatible with pretty much all file formats that we're familiar with for a laser. They all have toolless mirror changes, 
magnetic lens cartridges, isolated optics, and optional lenses. The Mira 5S comes with a standard 2-inch lens, but there is an option for, uh, let's see, 1.5, 2.5, or 4-inch lens, depending on what you're cutting or engraving. These all come with a laser beam combiner, smart monitoring, optics, temperature alarm, diagnostic log, LED status lights, lid interlocks, side panel interlocks, water flow protection, water temperature alarm, and all of the hobby or small business lasers operate on 110 volt electric, 60 hertz. They all have a camera included, which is light burn compatible, and of course, rotary accessories. The rotary accessories that you can choose from are a smart rotary, a multi-roller, a chuck roller, or you can choose a pie burn or a rotoboss. There's also an optional fume extractor that actually works. I saw it live at the show, which is something that uh, most of them don't work very well. They, these worked extremely well. <laughs> and a wireless remote control that's available on the first three models, standard on the rest. There's an extensive knowledge base online as well as email support and all of the machines come with unlimited telephone video support. As a matter of fact, as we were touring the factory, which you'll see in a later video, one of the technicians was actually on a video training call with one of the customers. This is David Tijera. He's doing he's doing a little bit of tech support. Right. He's on so the phone right like now, doing a Skype or a FaceTime with a customer, just helping her through an alignment. Something simple, you know. But he spends the extra time, to make sure they get it right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so that will represent your bottom left corner. Does that make sense? They also have on-site repairs, parts on demand, and startup training. Uh, that's all included with any of the Eon lasers. Now, if you needed on-site orientation and training, that's only available on the big boy, the Supernova se series. And if you did need that, you would have to pay for the technician's travel expenses. So now let's take a moment and discuss the different lasers that Eon makes. And mostly I've been talking about the Mira 579S series the next step up is the Nova series. The Nova series ranges from 14995 to 20995 starting with the Nova 10S, then the 14S, then the 16S. And then we have the Supernova series, starting with the Supernova 10, 14, and then uh, the Big Daddy, which is the 16. The Supernova series ranges from 22,495 to 28,495 and is designed for full-time businesses and shops for maximum bed size, maximum product productivity, maximum speed. Now, I do want to say that this entire time that I've been talking about the Redline Signature series, you can still get into an Eon laser at a lesser price point. For instance, the standard Mira 5 starts at $59.95. The Mira Pro Series, which is the Mira 7 to the Mira 9, starts at $74.95. And the Nova Pro starts at $12.495. So without getting into the Redline Signature Series, you can still get a lot of these features that I've discussed in the standard models. And let's not forget fiber, Galvo lasers. Eon Laser USA has an entire series of EMP fiber lasers from 30 to 100 watts of power starting at just uh, $49.95. Now, this video is being recorded in April of 2024. And as of right now, Eon Laser USA is running a pre-order special on the Signature Series, 
where you can save anywhere from two, $2,900 on the Mira 5 all the way up to 7900 on the Supernova series. And some of the bonuses that you'll get in addition to the price savings is you'll be able to choose from bonus gifts. As an example, on the Mira 5, you get to choose two items from their Tier 1 list and one item from their Tier 2 list. So in the Tier 1 list, you can choose any two of either the Smart ro Rotary Accessory, the Optics Kit, or a separate air compressor, or even a stand for the laser. Any two of those. And then in the Tier 2 list, you get to choose one of the following four which is either a hundred sheets of veneered wood or a hundred sheets of cast acrylic in different colors or a hundred sheets of leatherette and the final choice is a hundred stainless steel tumblers and additionally all of the Eon lasers come with a free material starter kit and this starter kit has 50 different items in it from wood to acrylic to stainless steel tumblers to cutting boards, keychains, and leatherette. 50 pieces in all, ready to help you get started the very first day with your laser. Now this is a pre-order promotion and I don't know how long this will be going on, but as of this recording, the promotion is active on their website. What better way is there to get started than with free accessories and free materials? So that about sums it all up. Uh, I went to the ISA Expo with the intention of just comparing all of the different laser manufacturers that were exhibiting there. But after seeing all the information on this new Redline Signature Series, I think the next laser that I add to the shop is going to be either the uh, Mira 5, 7, or 9, or maybe even one of the uh, Nova series. I really didn't go with the intention of purchasing a new commercial CO2 laser, but after seeing all of the new innovations in the Redline Signature series, uh, I think I'm ready to make an impulse buy. I still haven't decided on which one to get, and I'm gonna spend a lot more time on their website comparing all of the different models. But I do know that I've probably got it nar narrowed down to either the Mira or the Nova series, which is likely what most of my viewers would probably be considering. I have a lot more to think about, including price, bed size, um, and even uh, what RF tube I'd like to have in the machine. But hopefully I'll have this all sorted out in time to make a pre-order, and I'll have a nice shiny new laser in time for Christmas this year. So I hope you enjoyed this overview of Eon and mostly the Mira series today. And I hope it's given you some information if you're in the market for a new commercial quality laser. I will have some more videos coming up on the ISA Expo pretty soon, as well as a complete factory tour of Eon Laser USA. I was uh, cordially invited by the president of Eon to make a trip down on the last day to the factory and I have to say it's it is absolutely one of the most impressive factories that I've ever seen with millions of dollars of investment and they've already outgrown their 22,500 square foot facility and they're going to be expanding so look for that factory tour coming up as well as a series of videos on the ISA show I'm going to do a playlist of all of the manufacturers we saw there, much shorter videos, uh, and I hope you all enjoy it. So I hope you enjoyed this video today as much as I enjoyed making it for you, and I had a fantastic trip to Orlando for the ISA Expo, as well as a great time with my partner in another channel, Patrick, from Light Source Engraving, who was a big help in this project and especially in the live streams that we did from Orlando last week. And as always, I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.